Okay, everybody, welcome back to uh, Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is video two in a series of videos about how I have uh, set up my Corel Painter 2015 uh, and my uh, Wacom Cintiq. Um, as I mentioned in the last one, if you've got an Intuos uh, 4, 5, a 5 Touch, uh, Intuos Pro, or any of the other Cintiqs, these videos will still work for you because there's a similarity between uh, how all of the Wacom products work. Okay, so what we're going to look at right now is not the Wacom product, but inside of Painter. What I mentioned was that I really, it took this new arranged palettes to get me started down this ro road. In the new 2015, we have a series of palettes. Uh, we have one called New Brushes, and if you click on it, what pops up is <laughs> this with uh, information about, you know, this is a the brush control panel for particle brushes. And this is the info panel for particle brushes. And it tells you everything you need to know about those. Um, if we go to arrange palettes, we go to illustration. We've got a, a an arranged palette uh, that works best if you happen to be an illustrator, or at least uh, that's what we think it works best. You may want to Whatever you do, if you're an illustrator, I'm sure you'll want to tweak it somewhat. And we have photo art. This would be for someone who uh, does a lot of cloning and uh, they want to take their photographs and uh, clone them in some creative way. But we have these other two uh, arranged palettes. One of them is default, and I'll go to it first. And this looks like the arrange palette that you normally would see in this version of Painter and every other version of Painter that we've had come out in recent memory. So you would have a navigator uh, uh, showing, you would have color panel, the mixer panel, color set library, layers and channels as one grouping. This uh, whole group is referred to as a palette. Each one of these individual um, items inside would be considered panels. And we have over here our standard uh, toolbox, which is fairly long and has a lot of very useful uh, tools on it. And we also have the media toolbox. Okay. But now what we've got is also this arranged palette called Simple. And oh my goodness, it is wonderful. Notice it everything is stripped down to two basic panels or two basic uh, toolboxes. This is the simplified or simple toolbox, and this is the command toolbox. And so what you have, and look, you don't have anything else showing. You don't need your layers palette because you can click right here, and there's your layers palette right pops up for you when you need it. Click there, and it goes away. That's why this is... Uh, so cool because you've got several things that uh, are that you use frequently and you can always get to the rest of the stuff uh, that may not be listed here. So anyway, if you go to, um, let's see, how shall I do this? Well, let's talk about each one of these first. With the command panel, uh, command work toolbox, you have new, which would open up a new document. You have save, which would save your current document. This is undo and redo. This is cut. Uh, this is, hmm, I think it's paste. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to do something. Uh, I think I need a new layer. So we got a new layer. Yep, see now I can go undo because I've added a new layer. So let's add that new layer again, and we'll just do that. I can undo. Now I can redo. And I've got cut, but I need a rectangle to cut or something. So I come down here to this simple toolbox and just click on a rectangular tool. So now I can cut. I can copy. I can paste. 
I can open and close the layers panel and I can open brush tracking, which is totally new in Painter 2015, but I'm not going to get into all of that. I just want to show you this real simple uh, arrange palette here. Over here on this side, this is sort of a kickback to Painter uh, 10. We have the brush category, and so this is the current library with each brush category here. And you can select a brush category, and you can come down here and select the variant from that brush category. Now, when you, uh, and, and I think that's a real cool way of working. Here's your brush tool. Here's your dropper tool. Here's your paint bucket. Here's your eraser. Now, this is your rectangular selection, but on this same bar, when you have a little triangle like this, you can click on it and you have your oval, your lasso selection, your magic one, and your layer adjuster tool. This is the only one I wish was out here, but it is here and you can have it uh, prominently displayed like that. This is your clear selection. So if I click on that, it just clears the selection. This is, um, let's go back to the brush tool. What you have here is brush size on screen. So if I click brush size on screen and I come over here and I just drag, the brush size is going to change. Okay, no shortcut key necessary. It's right there on the uh, simple control uh, toolbox. Click on this one, it's brush opacity on screen. And again, oops, click on it and then drag it and see I'm making the opacity different for that particular brush. Okay, then you have your temporal or your toggle temporal color palette. So it comes on and off. You have your clone color where you can change your clone color on or off. You have grabber tool, which will allow you to grab your object. You can also, well, I thought we could grab this, but you would do that with your layer adjuster tool. We would come up here and we can, <laughs> I keep grabbing the wrong thing here. Now yeah, we can move that around. Um, we have zoom in. We have zoom out and we have rotate page so that you can rotate the page if you'd like. And you have full screen mode, which pops up like that in full screen mode. So you've got several tools that um, are very useful, but lots of the other tools are not showing and you don't have a cluttered workspace. You can work very simply with this. So it was this setup that made the difference for me. I took this simple format or simple arrange palette and I made it specific for me. And we'll look at that in the next video. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.